Good morning, this is Gary with Gary Sprinkler Repair Service, and today I'm gonna to show you how to fix a split riser on a broken lawn sprinkler. Well, first thing you wanna look for when you're getting ready to start is you'll have a perfectly good section of lawn like that, and along the edge, whether it's on the street side or on this side, you'll have an area where you're starting to see a lot of discoloration. If you look here, you can see some orange clay or a clay type soil here. And also another common thing to see, and I'll show you over here, maybe even zoom in a little bit. You can see fine grains of sand on the sidewalk here, and you can see orange all down the sidewalk here. So and you wanna look for wherever that's concentrated. So in this case, it was a small section from here to here. And we had a lawn sprinkler in this location. Here's our lawn sprinkler right here. And it dug down and it ended up being a tree root that was wrapped around that pivot funny pipe down there. And it had a pivot 90 on it. So picture that guy down there with this guy threaded onto it and the sprinkler threaded on here. And as you can see, the riser that was on the end of that has been snapped off by the tree root putting pressure on the sprinkler and broke it off. So the next thing I wanna to try to show you is how to use an extractor tool. That's this guy here you can get at Lowe's or Home Depot. And how this tool works is you can see it's got little grooves on here. I'm gonna take that, I'm gonna shove it down inside the sprinkler here, and I'm gonna switch over real quick, try to do this with one hand. So I'm gonna push it down in there. I can hold it with my legs while I video it. And then we're gonna just start turning that to the left, and you're gonna see how that extractor tool takes that broken piece out. And there you go. I've got it all loosened up. And you can see, there's our broken piece taken out. Now all I have to do is get myself another Pivot 90 over here. That's this guy, or if you're just using a regular sprinkler cutoff riser that the sprinkler is threaded onto, down here it's half inch. Um, I'm gonna take that guy, either one, and you put it back on down in the hole. Screw your sprinkler on. One thing I like to do, with the sprinkler before I do that is always just take and tap it on the ground a little bit. So if there's any debris that got up in your sprinkler, give it a little shake. Try to get any sand or grit or gravel out of there first. And then that should pretty much clear it out. There's a filtered 99% of the time that's down in there, just underneath the nozzle here and it prevents the nozzle from plugging up. So as long as you just tap it a little bit like that and get all that debris out, you're good to go. It's that simple. Literally, I'm gonna put another Pivot 90 back on screwed onto that little half inch riser there and then I can move it around as you can see it moves up and down I can move it wherever I want I can turn it left or right and once I reposition the sprinkler I can turn it on make sure I don't have any other brakes as you can see pretty gnarly tree root right here so maybe we have a second break but we'll find out in a minute that'll be for another video hope you liked our video today if you felt it was helpful please subscribe to our channel and give us a thumbs up like if you got any comments that you think that would help improve the channel feel free to leave those down below as well as any questions you, you might have if you subscribe to the channel this uh, month we're going to be doing a giveaway my next video will include what that giveaway is going to be and make sure you tap notifications so you can be notified once i upload the new video and also it'll notify you if you've won by uh, watching that video so again gary sprinkler repair service Hopefully you're having a nice warm sunny day like we are in California and uh, I wish you luck moving forward. Thanks for watching our video.